frozen winter paradise. How awesome is that? Hello guys and welcome to Survival Russia. Today we're gonna revisit an older video. And excuse me if the cam is uh, wobbling a little bit. I'm using a pine branch for tripod today. So yeah, anyway, we're gonna revisit an older uh, video. It's about a survival myth or outdoors myth. And the video is about why you should put the foil on your sleeping mat downwards towards the ground and not upwards. I do this because of a, I had a request from a viewer, subscriber, maybe he was both. As I said in the older video, I see a lot of people who are out sleeping and they put the tin foil here or the aloe foil upwards. And that is wrong. Yeah, this piece of foil here is of course cut out so it fits in the little uh, pack there. The fun part of the other video was that I had a lot of uh, comments on with, from people, you know, posting links to all sorts of uh, laws of physics and uh, insulation theories and so on and so forth. I even said in the old video that I don't base, I did not base my uh, my my video and my statements on theory. I base my statement on uh, actual experience, right? <laughs> As usual. <laughs> but it's a good day today to revisit this uh, myth or what you can say, because I got on a lot of subscribers since then, and uh, I also want to like to explain a little bit more in detail about my actual experience with this tinfoil or alufoil thing here. So let's get to that first. Some years ago I was out doing some winter camping. Very very late winter camping, you can say extremely early spring. There was of course a lot of snow still, but it was not really that cold. It would be about 0 C to minus 5 C or something like that or 4. It was not really cold. So I only had, the, I had a nice shelter and I had a raised bed, you've seen me make this raised bed a lot of times, uh, the woodsman's bed I call it. I can link to the video up here or something like this. Maybe I'll link to it by the end of the video. I think I'll do that. <coughs> Anyways, <coughs> I only had a Swiss army wool blanket with me and uh, I was well dressed and so on and had a big nice Siberian fire and this and that. But what sometimes happens is that uh, the weather is uh, not as it's uh, supposed to be or like the weatherman told you, right? So it went down to about minus 10 or 11 or something like this. And having only a wool blanket, mm, that is uh, stretching it a little bit. Of course I had a ground pad with me and I had a, a aluminium foil insulated pad or what we can say. And uh, as I said, the bed was raised like this from the ground with the sticks lengthwise, spruce boughs and so on. So I had first I had the ground pad, secondly I took the pad with the alofoil and I put the alofoil up. So I was laying there on the, on the raised bed with my wool blanket and my sleeping mats and so on. But I kept feeling cold on the back and uh, on the shoulders and so on. And uh, the only thing that came to my mind was the alufoil here. So I got up, got a little warm by the fire. It was like, you know, the Siberian fire is not burning all night long, it's just smoldering, but you can still get a lot of heat out of it. Anyway, I took the foil mat, boom, turned it around, and everything was fine. As fine as it could be with a wool blanket in minus 10 C. So this is what I base my statement on. But let's get a little bit into detail with this foil down thing. Because I know there's going to be somebody who's not agreeing with me. So principally what we have here is a thin sheet of metal on a foam pad, right? It's cold of course. Today it's minus 20 C, right? So what happens? When you have a thin sheet of metal laying here in minus 20 C. This sheet of metal will of course be cold and conduct heat. This is logic. I mean, this is what happens inside the computer, right? <laughs> you have your processor with a, with a ripped uh, aluminium object on it, right? So, you take a warm object and put on a cold sheet of metal. Yeah, this warm object will be isolated from the ground, but isn't it pretty obvious that all this metal here, which is about minus 20 C, 
that it will start to draw heat, to conduct heat from the warm element. Like this, of course, the aerofoil will act like a barrier of some sort and your heat will be trapped within this foam here and have a chance to be reflected upwards towards you again. Of course, the foam here will also be cold, but it's not a sheet of metal, right? <laughs> I hope that the subscriber, uh, viewer, who uh, requested this video got a little bit more information out of it. Thank you for your time, thank you for watching. Sub bell me, subscribe, sub like and sub share. Especially sub share, it's awesome when you do that. <coughs> and until next time, get out and train and get it done. I see you next time here in wintertime Russia guys. Thank you very much for your time. <laughs>